Today I am going to discuss Kore House Synthesis. Before I discuss Kore House Synthesis, let me discuss the Wurtz reaction. Means I am not going to discuss the Wurtz reaction in details that I have already explained. Just to recap what is Wurtz reaction. In the Wurtz reaction we use alkyl halide. So here we have to use symmetrical alkyl halide. Sodium as a reagent, dry ether as a solvent. These two alkyl groups like ethyl group combines means coupling reaction happen carbon carbon bond formation here you can see two ethyl group combine so this blue color bond is the new bond between the carbon and carbon and we are getting butane this reaction is applicable only for the symmetrical alkyl halide but when we use unsymmetrical alkyl halides means two different kinds of alkyl halides like here we have used iodoethane and iodopropane so our desired product should be this ethyl group and propyl group combined. So this is the new bond between carbon carbon. We should get pentane. But actually the desired product form in very less quantity. We are getting multiple products like butane when the two ethyl group combines and when two propyl group combines we are getting hexan. To overcome this problem here we have moved to Kore House reaction. Now Kore House synthesis, synthesis is a multi-step synthesis and it was proposed by here you can see the name of the scientist has been given E.G. Kore, G.H. Posner, J.M. Whitesides, H.O. House. The commonly name is Kore House Synthesis. Now let's explain the Kore House reaction. Kore House reaction is a multi-step synthesis. So here you can see let me explain it with uh, example so here we have taken methyl iodide when methyl iodide reacts with lithium as I already mentioned in my previous video that we have to use dry ether as a solvent and we'll be getting methyl lithium methyl lithium is a organometallic reagent now this methyl lithium reacts with cuprous iodide and we get another organometallic reagent which is called lithium dialkyl cuprate now this lithium dialkyl cuprate react with another alkyl halide here we are taking ch3 ch2 ch2 i that means iodopropane now here you can see this propyl group and here you have a two methyl group they will combine and they will give you pentane so here you can see this is the propyl group ch3 ch2 ch2 now a new bond formation between there are two carbons so methyl two methyl so it will be now ethyl so this is the blue colored bond that is the new bond between the two carbons. So we are getting pentane. So here only one product form that is the pentane. So that's why the Kore House reaction is important to synthesize the alkyl alkene compounds using unsymmetrical or different alkyl halides.